Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing well and enjoying lockdown as much as we can. Um, so today I basically thought I would bring you another what I eat in a day slash day in the life. No, what I eat in a day. Um, just because I have found a few new recipes, I've decided to sort of change the way that I was eating, mainly to focus on sort of like fresh foods. Um, rather than quick foods which is what I was going with before um, I'm not sure if you know but I have sort of um, I haven't been like diagnosed yet but um, a lot of my family suffer with IBS and I'm having a lot of the same symptoms and last weekend I had a really bad episode um, and my stomach was very bloated I was very uncomfortable I couldn't really do anything I was in a lot of pain and this lasted for about four or five days um, and I think it's a result basically of my food. It also doesn't help with stress and like obviously the stress of going into lockdown and stuff like that. Um, stress is a big trigger for IBS, but yeah, so basically I'm just sort of changing the way I'm eating, focusing on eating sort of like fresher foods, stuff that's going to help my stomach, um, sort of cutting back on the things that are harder for my stomach to digest. Um, yeah that's sort of it and also sort of eating not small portions but smaller portions and eating more regularly throughout the day just because that's something with IBS that having like a big portion especially in the evening like for dinner time isn't necessarily the best thing as it can sit on your stomach and then like sort of trigger another episode essentially so I, I'm very much new to this I'm learning everything about it but I thought I would sort of yeah bring you on a what I eat in a day um, I'm just about to train now this is my home gym setup here with my washing. Um, so yeah, we are gonna go through a push workout. Yeah, push workout. Um, and then we'll, then I've got to teach a class as well. So I'm gonna try and fit in breakfast, but I need to hurry up. Otherwise I won't. And then I'll have to have breakfast after I've taught the class, which won't be great. Um, so yeah basically if you do like this video please give it a big thumbs up click the subscribe button turn your notifications on if any of you guys suffer with ibs please let me know like what you sort of do to control your episodes um as yeah i think a lot of things that i'm doing at the moment are triggering it so it'll be good to have some tips um but yeah so without further ado let's get to the video Celebrate, no pump fake, hesitate. I've been scoring every day. Scoring. Champagne Perrier since 9 3, been in the box. Now I'm stepping up to home. Like straight out the sand lot, and I'm plying on, on the globe. I work hard, I show love. That calm and steady grind. Calm and steady grind. Got this far, I go hard. Let God take control. God take control. I was starving, skinny, now my weight up Got no energy for haters See you trying to see you later See you later. I'm shooting for the stars Need no laser beam Blowing like the greatest But it's one who's always greater Yo. Go dummy, go beast on oh, no. I go beast Go deep, I OD on oh, no. Good 
colors skin clear This here my year yeah. Hey look up here. up here This here my tear <laughs> Same fit four days. four days I grind four ways, four ways. I play no games no game. All me no blame On the wave my own wave Can't stop my shine, can't stop my shine. In the lane my own lane Can't stop my grind, stop my grind. For the yard in the V12 And like 1.5 At 19 I clear 19 In a month no lie Oh God I was starving skinny, now my weight up Got no energy for haters See you trying, see you later See you later I'm shooting for the stars Need no laser beam blowing like Catching breakfast <laughs> So, it is now breakfast time Although it's quite late in the day What is it? No, it's 11 o'clock So I have to teach a class in about half an hour So I'm gonna risk eating It could be dangerous But I'm really hungry So, um, yeah Breakfast is as usual, it is the daily yog bowl, we've got the Greek yogurt, the only difference is I'm now eating half an apple as I've learned that apples aren't that easy to digest and if you watched my last video you'd have seen I tried it with banana and it was absolutely disgusting. Um, so we're still going with apple but we're just cutting down the amount that we're eating so yeah I'm going to make that. You guys know how I make it, so I'll just pop it on the side and you can watch along. Um, I do really like this and it's a really good way to like set me up for a high protein like day basically. Um, I find if I have porridge, even though I really like it, it's harder for me to get protein in throughout the rest of the day. Um, still aiming for like 130 to 140 grams of protein. Carbs and fats, not so much. I just try to keep my fats within like 35 to 45 grams, somewhere in there and carbs just sort of come and go as they like so yeah I'm not really too bothered about those um but I will show you everything that I eat today and yeah let's make some breakfast otherwise I'm gonna be throwing up on zoom So I'm going to eat this now quickly before I have to teach this class in, oh my god, 20 minutes. So I could be sick on Zoom. Um, I might eat half of it and then eat the rest of it after just because, yeah, I really don't want to be sick. Um, and then, yeah, I will catch up with you after the class. So, as you can tell, I'm a lot sweatier and the hair is an absolute mess. Like, why do I get hairs like this? Like, I swear no one else looks like this after I've worked out. So I just taught my hit, no it wasn't hit, it was um, barbell lower body strength class um, which was quite good fun, that's for work just whilst gyms are closed. I actually can't go over my hair, like no one else's hair does this, it's just not fair. Like why won't that sit flat? I don't know, it's really annoying me. So I've just had two parcels arrive, do you know what this is? That will be all coming soon. But I have, yeah, just told my class, I need to drink some water. I need to have a shower because I literally look disgusting. But I think I might go for a walk first um, whilst I'm still like sweaty and gross um, just to get my steps in. I'm trying to aim to take myself for a walk um, throughout lockdown just to keep my steps high. And to be fair, they've been like higher than they normally are like because I'm making a conscious effort. They're around like, I think I'm averaging about 14 and a half thousand steps a day. So what are we on at the moment? Okay, so we're just coming up to 4,000. So I'm just gonna go for a quick walk. I think I just normally do like a walk around the block and it ends up taking about 40, 45 minutes. Um, just is a good way to get my steps up basically. So I'm probably gonna do that, but I have got some breakfast to finish off. So yeah, that's it really. I will see you at lunchtime. And we are back. It is now lunchtime. I have been for a walk. I have done everything. So after this, yeah. We're basically gonna eat then I need to shower and then I'm gonna do some work wow the day is really going quickly okay so let's just do a quick update on where we are in terms of steps okay so I am done 9790 steps so we are nearly hit 10k steps and it is only half two so I know just from like now pottering around the house um 
I will hit over my target which is always good because I know like just walking around the house it's really hard to get your steps in um and I literally went for like what I think let's have a look a two mile walk and it took me like 40 minutes or so yeah about 40 minutes so yeah it's just little steps to make sure we're still hitting our goals um like i said in another video my steps are really important because i know that that's something i lack on so i'm really trying to focus another thing is water um so i have drank a liter of water so far today which probably for other people they're like is that it that for me is really good um so now we just need to finish strong throughout the rest of the day so yeah two more of my bottles basically um anyway so lunch time so i haven't had a snack yet just because i I literally haven't sat down so that's fine because then it means I can sort of bank my morning snack for like evening later on which is normally when I get hungrier later on in the day so for lunch I have already made it it was last night's tea so we have um leftover lasagna um it's like quite high in protein um basically it's like my own homemade lasagna um so it doesn't have the what doesn't it have? The cheese sauce on it. The best bit. Let me add it in to my fitness pattern whilst we are talking. And um, we will see. Yeah, so it's literally got like, it's got mushrooms, carrots, courgette in to like really like thicken it almost. Um, and then obviously pasta sheets and mints. Um, so it's 540 calories it has got 55 grams of protein in 10 grams of fat and 51 grams of carbs so that's already made so yeah basically what i do is because obviously this is what i eat in a day and you know sometimes it's good to share how i eat how, how not how i eat it but how i make it um obviously this one's already done so basically what i do is put cook off like chop up the courgettes onions garlic carrot and mushrooms and put cook them all off in like a pan like a big pan you need um and then once they've all softened i then add a kilogram of mince because obviously i'm meal prepping it so it makes about um, six portions um and then what else do i do so then i cook off the mince until it's all brown then I like season it and then I'll add two tins of chopped tomatoes. Um, did I mention garlic? Garlic. Um, then I'll mix that in. By this time the pan, pan's nearly overflowing so you know you kind of have to deal with that. Then um, I add some tomato puree so I've just some squeezes in. I don't really know how much. Two beef oxo cubes because of how much it is. Like I don't like it too tomato. I prefer it more like beefy if that makes sense. And then basically just cook that off because there'll be quite a lot of juices because of the meat and also the veg will like create like quite a lot of water. Um, and the stock cubes that you just crumble in, I don't add water because it doesn't need any more water. Um, and then basically yeah, I just cook that off until the sort of sauce isn't as like runny. And then put it into a lasagna dish, a huge dish. Lasagna sheets, you know how to do lasagna, mince, lasagna sheets mints lasagna sheets and then mints on top i go with put that in the oven for about 40 minutes and then it crisps up cooks all the pasta and everything and then i just grate some cheese all over it i just have like vintage cheddar i mean you could go low fat if you want to but it's literally got like nothing in anyway that's fatty so yeah just have some full fat cheese um don't be a weirdo and cook that off for another five minutes so all the cheese is melted and that is it so I'm going to put it in the microwave now and stop chatting and you'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here's my lasagna. Did I just garnish it with some basil? Maybe. Am I a change woman? Maybe. Am I about to mush this up so it looks like baby food? Yeah, that's the real. That's the real me. Right, I'm gonna mash this up and then we will sit down and eat. Yo, honestly, I'm so excited for this video. I feel like I haven't, well, I.
Okay, so time has passed yet again. Um, so I was just doing a little bit of work. Then I got the shower because you know when you've worked out and like you're just a bit like cold because you're still wearing the same clothes, you know? That is real, it's a real thing. So we're about to have our snack. So we've got a squares bar. I'm a little bit sad because I thought this was a chocolate one. But I remember when I finished them. Coke Zero and I'm just about to catch up on Made in Chelsea. And then we will have a look at tea start considering tea like you guys know i do normally eat dinner like later on so um yeah i might probably have another snack beforehand oh i know what i'm actually gonna do i am gonna have another snack beforehand and i'll show you guys my new creation because i'm very proud um but for now i'm just gonna chill out and watch this and wait for con to come home so yeah i will catch back up with you later on okay so it is now snack time again i think um just i'm a little bit hungry so I'm going to show you my new favourite snack, it's homemade bruschettas, um, so basically just sourdough because that's the only bread I can eat. It's also quite low calories looking at it compared to other bread, I don't know whether that's just because it's smaller slices. Um, and then I've got some mixed plum tomatoes, going to blend them up, rub some garlic, some oil, some basil and it's literally like the best snack ever it's fresh it tastes nice and it's like 220 calories or something like that so it's the bruschetta life for me um i have done this a lot today that's weird also my hair is dried naturally so we're just rolling with it um so yeah i'm going to show you how to make those basically Okay, so here we have my homemade bruschetta. So they look just like out of a restaurant, if you ask me. I think they look awesome. So yeah, they're around like 221 calories. I will put everything up at the end of the day. Um, my hair is literally, this is why I don't wear my hair natural. Like, I just haven't had a very good hair day today. It's at home lockdown vibes. Oh, that again, I need to stop. Um, okay, so. Yeah, as you saw, just a bit of garlic rubbed onto some sourdough, some tomatoes blended up, tiny bit of oil, like hardly any, and then some basil chopped up on top. And I'll tell you now, it's really good. Mm. I'll tell you now, I outdo myself every time. I am insane. Mm, so fresh right i'm gonna enjoy this now um and then i'll probably check back in when it is dinner time perfection like it's like it's from the restaurant um yeah i'll check back in to show you my other new recipe at dinner time okay so it is now dinner time it is a lot later i think it's like half eight um so this dish literally takes hardly any time at all so it is a prawn spaghetti dish um so we've got here a sweet pepper these are i just prefer these than normal peppers um a chili and some garlic and then we've got a little bit of sauce that i add to it and then yeah just basically cook those off add the prawns season it bang it into some pasta add a bit of cheese if you want to you know it's nice and easy high protein from the prawns and fairly low calories because it's just pasta and prawns um but it's really tasty and I love it. So I'm gonna show you how I make it.
Okay, so there we have it guys. That is my dinner. Um, it was insane. I obviously didn't show you me eating it because I just wanted to enjoy my food to be honest. I am now about to have my um, options hot chocolate that I have shown you guys. I now have the tub. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have some protein in it just to get it up. Then I will have hit 139 grams of protein. So that's always good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have that. So I think I've, have I shown you on here before? I think I have. So you have this, you have a scoop of protein in there. You make a paste with my <laughs> running low skinny foods, vanilla creamer. Um, and then you literally just, why is it my fridge shutting? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, you make a paste and you just add hot water and then I normally add a couple of marshmallows to go in with it. I have a couple more, I have like about 200 calories left I think. So I might end up having like some sort of snack. I've got like probably one of these wafer bars. Because they're like 100 calories or something like that. So yeah, this is going to be me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this full day of eating um, and I've shown you a few more food ideas to eat um obviously i normally eat the same sort of thing so yeah it's completely different this time and it's a lot fresher food i'm really enjoying it and yeah it's really helping like with my skin and like my stomach as well my ibs so yeah i'm feeling very positive about that but if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up click the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any other food videos or normal videos and i will see you for another video very soon. Can I say video any more time? See you later.